Hello everyone, it's Shanna. I'm so glad you're here today. Now today I am working with this 3D cut and emboss folder from Spellbinders and it is called Mushrooms From Me To You and it has these three dies, small, medium, and large, that will align with the embossing folder. You just nestle them in there. They'll snug right up exactly where they should be and then you can just um, bring in your cardstock and lay it on there and it will emboss, 3D emboss, um, and cut out your panels. So I'm using this Dune cardstock. I had three colors there that I was debating on using. I had um, Latte, Dune, and I had Tuscan. And I want to do all three of these in this Dune colored. And this is the proper sandwich for it. You just need your platform and your cutting plate D. And I'm going to bring my Spellbinders Platinum 6 in and we'll just run it through there. I only need to run it through just one time and it'll have perfect results. So I'm just gonna pull it open and we'll just take a look at what we've got here. So you can see that it embossed and cut all three of those panels out very nicely. And um, you've got a lot of dimension on there. So I just took my little, look at that, isn't that cute? So, so cute, the detail on there. I just took my um, Spellbinders three, two in one tool and poked the um, tag circle out is what I was doing. And now I'm going to bring in my Vintage Photo Distress Oxide ink. And I'm gonna bring in my foam scrapbook.com brushes here, or daubers, whatever you wanna call them. And I'm gonna just ink it up with my Vintage Photo. And my plan is to just give this kind of a rustic look by just lightly going over my design on there and picking up that vintage photo so that I'll have the dune in the background and then the vintage photo on top. And so you can do this very quickly and have a really good looking panel. And it just makes all of your embossing dimension pop. So I thought it was, I just was thinking when I saw these mushrooms, I was just thinking that Dune cardstock and vintage photo. That's what immediately popped in my head, and so I thought I would try it. And it did turn out like I wanted it to. I think it looks really pretty. And since that worked, then I thought, I'm just going to use a couple other colors on these other ones. And I decided on the medium one, I would just bring in my Distress Oxide Black Soot, and I would just um, use it to blend this panel similarly to the other. And I'm just, these scrapbook.com daubers, you just, they have Velcro attachments and you just pull them off and put a new one on. And so I got my black one on and I'm just gonna put black on this dune and let's see how it looks. I wasn't certain about this color, um, but I really like how it turned out. And so we'll just ink it up and move right along. And I, it, again, it just pops right off of the panel. And I think it looks really nice with the black. Now, I'm going to bring in my Crackling Campfire and do the same thing to the little tag. And I'm just swapping out for my orange blender. And I'm going to clean that off of my desk just because we're getting a little bit messy here. And then we'll ink up the Crackling Campfire one. So we'll have an orange one. And I'm just going to do the same thing, same technique, and it's pretty heavy, so I'm blotting off um, onto my glass mat there and just trying to lightly cover it and just grab as much ink as I need and just um, get all around that little bitty tag. And I actually liked how all three of these turned out. I know it's a very simple technique, um, but I think that it makes some really nice results. So we've got all three of them inked up and I've got my glass mat cleaned off and we're back in. Now we're just gonna figure out what we're gonna do with them. Now I am also bringing in a new die set. It's called Scalloped Lab Labels and Tags and this is brand new as well. Um, just released, I think today, or it, actually yesterday because I'm gonna run this on the 7th. Um, I've got another Spellbinders release on the 6th that I'm releasing but um, that you may have already seen. So I'm just showing the, I'm layering these up, showing you how they all go together. And that's what the set looks like. So you get a good amount of dies with the scalloped labels and tags. And I'm, I've got this um, latte essential card stock from Spellbinders. And I know I want to use it, but I'm just trying to decide, do I want a full panel? Do I want to layer it? 
do I want to cut it down? Um, just trying to figure out, you know, exactly what I want to do with it. And so I've decided that I want to um, put a layer in between it. And so I'm just grabbing my dies and trying to decide what I'm going to do. And so I'm going to take that middle layer and I am going to bring in some white cardstock and just die cut it out. And then I'm going to bring in, I didn't think I had any black cardstock left. And so I brought my black soot in and I started to ink it up there on my glass mat. And I thought, I'm just going to bring in a rubber um, silicone mat just so I don't make a horrendous mask on my desk. And so I'm just running that black ink pad around the outer edge where I would need, you know, what would be shown on my card. So I'm just going to do that. And we'll use this for the panel to line our largest mushroom. So I've, I've colored in enough of it. And then what my plan is is to line it like that. And I think that looks good. And it'll pop. So I'm going to do that. And I'm actually, then I noticed that the you know, the outside edges look like they needed it. So I'm just running my um, ink pad against the cardstock. And we'll try to get in that corner there as best we can. And then we'll get this cleaned up and we'll build this particular card. So I'm going to take the next up, because I had the two of those laying together, and I'm going to die cut this out and lay the black panel down on the latte panel. And I'm still trying to get that corner inked up. And this is what it's going to look like. And I, I got to thinking I've got a lot of um, Spellbinder cardstock that's going to be hidden behind there and I don't want to waste it. So I just went ahead and took another one and die cut out the center of it so that I can use it on one of those other uh, pieces that I have laying there on the desk. And it's going to fit nicely there. And I didn't like the tag on it, but I tried it. So we've got, we've kind of got a plan for two of our, our um, pieces there, our panels. And I've decided that I'm going to go ahead and make my card the scalloped shape that I used for the brown latte. And I'm just going to let it hang over the edge so that I still have my fold. And I'll just go to my die cutting machine, cut it out, and I'll lay my brown panel down on my folded card base there. So I'm just bringing in my glue and we'll get it laid down. And then we'll start layering the rest of the pieces to this card. And I love die cutting the center out of my panels just because I, you know, that cardstock can be expensive. And I like to just die cut it out so that I save on my materials. And we'll just get this one laid down. Now this was a piece of Canson watercolor paper that I grabbed. It just, I have a little um, basket that I have scraps in and it was in there and I just grabbed it and I thought, I don't, it doesn't matter if I use it or not. So I went ahead and just grabbed it. It was about the right size. And I'm just gonna bring it back in. I was still working on a little spot there trying to get it cleaned up and we'll get this glued down right on top of that and I think it looks nice I like it I like the brown the black and the fact that I did scallop the card too I'm still trying to rub some glue off there I'll bring in my little sand eraser and see if I can get it off of there I, I can't find my little rubber glue eraser I need to look and then I'm going to move on to the next one. And I'm going to use that same latte essential cardstock that I die cut out of the center and just lay this panel directly on it. Get it lined up nice. And then I realize I actually do have a piece of black cardstock in my little basket. And so I'm going to bring it in and we'll use one of those dies to die cut out 
And I think I'm going to, I'm probably, I think I'm skipping two of the dies. So I'll have a little bit more of an edge showing on this card than I did the other one. And I'm just running to my die cutting machine. I've got it cut out. And now we're going to get it laid down on the black base. And I think that really helps that black to pop that's on the embossed full panel. And now I'm just going to lay it on my white cardstock. And I thought that um, when I once I got it laid down on there, I thought it really made it stand out, having that white surrounding it. And I like the way that looked. And we're just going to lay these two aside and figure out what we're going to do with this little tag. And I made another little tag on yesterday's video in a little dusty blue, and it was real pretty. And then this one's going to be the Crackling Campfire. And I'm going to use this orange paper and go up a, t a tag and lay this on there. And we'll just adhere this down so that the back of my tag is covered. And I think these will make cute little tags for um, your gifts, your gift bags to put on there. And, and so I'm just going to glue that up on there. And then I'm going to go grab my crop dial and bring it in and punch through that orange panel there. And I've first I hook it up wrong and I'm like, whoops, I'm not. And so then I have to adjust it and get the right um, punch so that I can punch it out. And this is a big old cro crocodile. It's called a crop a doll with a P. Anyway, I'm grabbing some ribbon that's in this light orange color and we'll just thread it through our little hole. And now I've got another little tag for my gift bags and I think it turned out really cute. So I'm really pleased with how these all came out. I got to looking at that one and I thought I could put, I had some black spellbinder embellishments and I thought I'll grab those and put that on there and it'll look really nice with the black panel and I'm still using Spellbinders materials because these were Spellbinders enamel dots. Actually, I got these for Christmas as part of being a club member. And usually in December, you'll get a little gift uh, with your subscription. And that's where I got these. And I've just about used them all up. So I'm just going to lay three up there and two at the bottom. And I think it looks real nice. I'm real pleased with how these three turned out. I hope you enjoyed watching it. And as always, I hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye. <music>